Greetings, my loyal viewers. Today we're going to do a video about math. And it begins with an introduction to a gamer known as Hearthstone. He is a cash money gamer, also known as a pro gamer. He plays the game StarCraft II, uh, and his main race is Protoss. StarCraft II is a real-time strategy game, in case you didn't know. It's one of the most successful of all time. In fact, it is the most successful of all time. Um, so, let's get into it. Hearthstone was playing a game... Uh, in particular, a series he was doing called Challenge Stem on his YouTube channel, if you want to check it out, he, uh, where he takes challenges from his viewer base. And the challenge he was playing against this time was, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Where the guy would ask you, like, on the minute, a trivia question, you know, like, why is God cruel? You know, stuff like that. And Harstam has to answer uh, within the minute, or he has to... I don't know, take an L or something, something something like that. Like, I think it was like, if he couldn't answer the question, he had to wait until the minute was up. Or if he got the question wrong, he could try again. But he couldn't do anything until he got the correct answer is the main point. And one of the questions he got, which he got wrong, was what is the, the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon? All right, so I think he got it wrong because... Well, he didn't know what interior angles meant, and that might be because he, you know, because English is not his first language. So, I don't know which of those words he didn't know, but the the interior angles for reference are these these guys right here on the Pentagon. And I'm just going to draw them all because they'll come in later. And the exterior angle would be like this out here. So the sum of these interior angles. All right, so I wanted to do this video because it posed an interesting, like, subject, which is just thinking, like, problem solving, you know? And, and it's not a hard problem either. It's like we're, we're dealing with basic shapes, so it, it shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay, so in order to begin solving problems, it's pretty good to start with, prior knowns, you know, prior knowns that you can use to break apart the problem. And I'll show you how we'll break apart this problem with triangles. It, it's probably obvious to most of you, but in case it isn't, I'll show you anyways. So as you know, the interior sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. And we can break apart a polygon like this pentagon into five equal triangles. So let's just do that. There you go, five equal triangles. All right. Now, because these interior pentagon angles were equal to each other, we know that because we divided it into five equal triangles, uh, that these angles, which are now part of the triangle, are also equal, right? So, and in particular, it's, it's one half of the original pentagon angle. So, this angle right here, is is one half of the whole thing right here and it's also equal to the other side right over here this is important it, it whittles down the unknowns okay the other unknown are these five angles uh, we don't know what they are however as you can plainly see they must all five of these interior triangle angles they must all sum to 360 degrees as you know, I kind of demonstrated it in like the most caveman way with the circle, but you get the idea, right? They sum to 360 degrees. So if you want to know what one of those angles is equal to, well, it's just equal to 360 divided by 5, right? Which is 72, by the way. All right. So we know what these interior angles are. Now it's just time to figure out what these other interior angles are. And uh, it's pretty simple. We go back to the fact that the interior sum is 180 degrees for a triangle. So 180 minus 72 equals 108. Oh, that's, <laughs> there we go. Uh, anyway, so we know that these two interior, interior triangle angles sums to 108. Since they're equal, then we can divide that 108 by two to get 54. 
So each of these is 54. So we have 54, 54, and 72. That sums to 180. Um, and if you want to solve the problem that was originally posed, it's just 54 plus 54 plus 54, you know, 10 times. Or you could do 108 five times, right? And the answer is 540. That is the uh, interior sum of the degrees for a pentagon. English is hard. Anyways, this is kind of like trivial though, right? Like it's not too interesting. Like what if instead of getting a pentagon, Harstrom got a heptagon, right? Or an octagon, or just some random sided polygon, you know? How would you solve that? Well, we can reference, we can reference what we did here uh, in order to solve that. So notice that this 108 right here, this 108 is, is this entire angle right here. Like that is sufficient. So, and also notice that this 72, we derived that 72 from this 360 divided by five. Now five, yeah, sure, it's the number of interior angles here, but it's also the number of sides of the polygon of a pentagon. So we could, we can, uh, we can, like generalize this formula. Take 180 minus 360 over n, where n is the number of sides of your polygon, and this is going to give you your interior angle. That doesn't. This formula, like you could already take it from there, right? But this formula on its own doesn't solve the problem. It, it, you still have to multiply the output of this by 5 again, in our case here. So by n again, right? So let's just throw that in there. We got n, and there you go. There's the formula. Now, you can imagine if you're Harstom and you're gaming at maximum levels, uh, you know, high APM, you're thinking about other things, tactics and microing and macro, you know, what is your opponent doing? Stuff like that. I mean, Hearthstone, he hits like 300 APM just easily, you know, 300 actions per minute. So you don't really want to be thinking like, oh, what is 360 divided by 7 in the case of a heptagon? Because that's just not a nice looking number. So let's just simplify it. Let's take 180. We can drop the parentheses by distributing the n, right? And then what we're left with is this pretty nice formula that just gives you the answer immediately. All you have to know is 180 times n. That's the hardest part. Uh, and it's not that hard either. Uh, for reference, again, I don't know how good or bad people are at math watching my, my videos, but 180 equal to 100 plus 8. This is useful uh, just for just for doing math in your head, mental math. Because n times 100 is a lot, you know, quicker, snappier to do. And then you can just add n times 80, whatever that is. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Tips for the future. Uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. And in particular, v for v viewers, look forward to more content. I got something planned for y'all. So, I'll see you then.